The trial opened in the Fu Thomas People's Court in the northern province, 80 kilometers, 50 miles, northwest of Hanoi. Fan Van Vien, former director of the General Police Department under the Ministry of Public Security, and Nguyen Than Hoa, former director of the Ministry's Department for High-Tech Crime Prevention, are charged with abuse of power or position in performance of official duties. Vine was arrested in April and Hoa a month earlier. They could be sentenced to 5-10 years in prison. The 90 other defendants are charged with six different crimes, gambling, organizing gambling, money laundering, and trading illegal receipts. The trial, guarded by more than 500 cops on the opening day, is expected to last for 20 days. Investigations found Vine had helped Nguyen Than Hoa and Nguyen Van Duong, chairman of high-tech security development company CNC, to set up the gambling ring, which was worth around $420 million when it was busted. Duong had previously been working with Hoa's division to provide technical support before setting up the gambling service in May 2015 with Fan Sao Nam, founder and former board chairman of major online communications firm VTC. According to investigators, the gambling ring headed by Nam and Duong on web portals Rickvip slash tip.club had established a large network of 25 Tier 1 agencies and nearly 5,900 Tier 2 agencies with nearly 43 million user accounts since being launched in mid-2015. The illegal ring was found to have generated a total income of over VND 9.8 trillion, $426 million, and a profit of VND 4.7 trillion. Out of this profit, Nam received nearly VND 1.5 trillion, Duong got over VND 1.6 trillion while a group of other suspects earned VND 1.57 trillion. The ring was first uncovered when police were investigating a fraud case involving mobile top-up cards in May last year. The scammer in the case claimed he had redeemed all the cards for virtual currencies used in an online gambling card game. Investigating this claim, police discovered Nam and Duong's ring which was run using two online game portals that resembled professional casinos in which players could gamble virtual money and convert their winnings to real money. Prosecutors in Fudo said Vine had not only turned a blind eye to the formation of the ring, but also actively signed documents to facilitate its formation. Hoa was ordered by Vine to sign documents allowing the ring to continue to function. Vine's crime has had extremely severe consequences and tarnished the police's reputation, and Hoa tried to hinder investigations the indictment said. Organizing gambling or running gambling dens is punishable by up to 10 years in jail in Vietnam. The video is sponsored by cntronic.com.